Welcome back. March is known for a lot of things, and one of the things on the list is March is Multiple Sclerosis Awareness Month. MS is a potentially disabling disease of the brain and spinal cord. To help us understand more about MS, we've asked Baptist Health Infectious Disease Dr. Amanda Novak to join us this morning. Dr. Novak, thank you so much for being here. Sure, it's a pleasure. So we want to know what does MS do to the body? Right, so MS is an autoimmune disease where the body's immune system attacks its own cells, specifically the myelin sheath, which is a protective layer around nerve cells. So it affects the brain and the spinal cord. Are there any symptoms or, or warning signs that we need to look out for? Yeah, so the symptoms of MS can be really varied for different people, but it tends to involve the nervous system. So people have numbness, weakness, tingling, sometimes difficulty walking. A lot of times um, there will be vision problems. The nerves going to the eye can be affected. Uh, difficulty with um, cognition occasionally is part of the issue, but a lot of it's a, a movement problem. What are some of the more common symptoms? Right, I would say that the eye involvement and the difficulty walking is really the, the most debilitating part of, of multiple sclerosis. You just can't make your limbs do what you want them to do. And how do you diagnose it? We just talked about that, that it, you sort of take a... Um, uh, Tell us. It's like a puzzle. We, we call it a clinical diagnosis. So there's not a single blood test that will say if you have MS. It's, we do blood work. We do MRIs. Sometimes we'll do a spinal tap. And, and then we look at all the symptoms and put all the pieces together to make the diagnosis. And sometimes that diagnosis will get delayed because it can be so vague and, it, and the symptoms come and go in a way that makes it hard to diagnose at times. Well, can you treat MS? So yeah, there's not a cure for multiple sclerosis, but there are treatments that mostly work on calming down the immune system to help you get through an attack faster. So with this being MS Awareness Month, what is the main takeaway that you want people uh, to take away from this? Yeah, I think it really is awareness to know that this uh, is really a debilitating illness that sometimes is difficult to diagnose. And, and certainly if you have friends or loved ones with MS, um, they need extra support and we continue to need to research and, and find a cure. All right, doctor, thank you so much for being with us this morning and sharing your knowledge with us. Uh, if you would like to contact Dr. Novak, you can do so by contacting her at Baptist Health by going to baptist-health.com or calling the Baptist Health line at 1-888-BAPTIST.